Hello guys, it's me Z from Metro P from Wireless Solution and uh, today we are working on the Alcatel uh, Trio True Alcatel uh, True from Metro PCS and uh, T-Mobile and what we are going to do we are going to show you how to um, buy a hard factor reset the phone if you forget your pin and the second way if uh, so when you restart hard reset so they will ask for the google verification account if you forget the google verification account so how can you completely bypass the google verification account too if you don't remember if you remember your gmail account and password so you simply can put it but if you don't remember so in this second video we are going to show you how to bypass that too so to hard factory reset the phone first of all we need to turn off the phone and leave it for a few seconds so uh, those guys who don't subscribe my play page please subscribe it and if you don't get any beneficial aspects from this a video so please share this video with your friends and family member maybe they need uh, this uh, to help them out so now uh, the phone is turned off so what we are going to do we are going to this is power on and off button and this is volume up this is volume down so we are working on uh, going to work on power on and volume up we are going to press them at the same time when we see the logo of alcatel phone so we are going to leave the power on button so let's do it together so as we see remove from the power on button so it will take you to this screen once it take you to this screen so with volume down you will come to this option it says web data factory reset and with the power you will select ok you will come down 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 yes delete all the user data so once you did this so it will take a few seconds to do this now and uh, once it done so then uh, you can put your gmail and information and uh, password and you can bypass through it but what if you don't remember your gmail so then we are going to show you another method how to bypass that that will be the second video and so let's wait for it for a while so it may take a few seconds okay i'm going to pause the video for a few moments when it's uh, done so i will okay so you get to this screen once you get to this screen now you are going to press the volume uh, the power on and off to reboot the system now and so once you press that so it will restart everything there will be no password but the thing is it will have the same gmail that was sent into the account first with the same password so you need to put that and you will be good to go if you don't know so in the second video we are going to show you how to bypass that So I'm going to pause the video for a while when it's done so okay every time I'm saying I'm going to pause the video the phone is like nah you are not going anywhere okay guys it's pretty it's take a little more time to restart the phone now the phone is being restarted so you what you need to do hit next skip 
skip anyway connect to Wi-Fi so now you connect to Wi-Fi it it will take a few seconds uh, to check the connection and then checking the software updates after that you will see that it will ask you for the gmail and account so i'm going to pause the video for a while it will take a few minutes so I'll be back okay so it will take you to this screen now you can see this device was reset to continue sign into google account that was previously signed uh, on this device so this is uh, if you have your uh, gmail so you can put your gmail then hit next and put password so in the second video we are going to show you how to uh, even bypass this one if you don't remember your gmail so thank you guys have a nice one enjoy your day